Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Brickheads review. Today we have a Brickhead set from Toy Story. This is set number 40552, Buzz Lightyear. This set includes 114 pieces and originally retailed for $9.99 when it released February 1st of 2022. Now this is one of two Toy Story based Brickheads, you can see the other one from the back, that being a double pack with both Woody and Bo Peep. But looking at Buzz Lightyear, we get a very nice animated look from the side, as well as your logos from the bottom of most sides of the boxes there. Buzz Lightyear is number 158 in the Brickheads lineup if you're interested in that kind of numbering. And from the very top, you get a nice look at one of the exclusive printed pieces to create this character. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the box art, so let's take a look at the box contents. Taking a look at the box contents, you get a total of three unnumbered bags to build the set, in addition to a loose plate piece for the base and your instruction manual. For the instructions, we pretty much mimic the front of the box, which I forgot to mention this when I looked at the box, but I really love the backgrounds here, that lighter blue, very nice and classic for Toy Story sets. From the very back, you get your win guy, get two pages of piece count there, leading to probably an advertisement for that other double pack, as I said before, Woody and Bo Peep, which currently isn't available in North America, unfortunately. Once it comes out, I don't know if I'm going to get it, just because, really, I only want Woody. And what would have made this particular set even more desirable, at least in my opinion, is if they bundled Woody with Jesse. I don't know why they didn't do this, but I guess they did this mainly because of, like, the most recent movie, Toy Story 4. I mean, it, it's okay, in my opinion, I'll eventually end up getting this, though. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the instructions and box content, so let's take a look at the final overall model. Looking at the final overall model for Buzz Lightyear, I really like how he turned out. There is one small thing that I feel is missing that I'll talk about towards the end of the video. But starting off with his main outfit, you get that color scheme that's to be expected with the lime green, a little bit of purple and the white and black. Get an exclusive print on this 1x4 tile piece right there in lime green with the Buzz Lightyear logo and also the little buttons from the front of the chest area. I really love that inclusion. You also get some buttons from the sides of the arms right there, clip piece connections for the hands. You can also see that we get two more exclusive prints right here on these 1x3 triangular plate pieces with those little red lines right there. You can see that we get one from each side, which are two different pieces right there with the same kind of print, so I really like that inclusion. You also get a little bit of tiling off from that in purple, and also the little red and the little green translucent studs from each side of that. Moving to the very back, you can also take a look at his jetpack area. Nothing really too special, connected using a lot of building on the side, which you'll see a lot with these types of Brickheads characters. When it comes to the head, one notable thing here is the misinclusion of the actual space helmet, or actually the translucent part that would normally go over what you see here, where we have that purple from the sides, and then just the regular face from the front, where you get the typical Brickheads eye print. Now, the one thing that I feel is really missing from this character is the inclusion of that little circular spiral for the chin. That is one print that I would have really liked to see LEGO include for Buzz Lightyear that I think is really missing. Otherwise, I think he turned out all right other than not including that space helmet sort of thing that would go over that trance clear, though I'm not exactly sure how they would get that to work to make it look good. And lastly, needless to say, you get a typical brickhead stand for this character. Here's a look at the feet, and again, just an overall look at the character. One other thing that I forgot to actually mention here that I actually really have to mention because it's a really interesting inclusion. If you remove Buzz Lightyear's head, you can see that we get four batteries in here, which are comprised of a cylinder piece and then a silver stud on top. You can see inside the body that you get sort of like the spring areas that you would put in the batteries. I think that's a really interesting inclusion and it does show that you put them in like different ways, which I'll show within the instructions as an overlay, but the attention to detail that LEGO put in here is pretty extraordinary. 
So overall for $10, is this set worth it? I mean, you get three brand new and exclusive prints to create this character, which I think are really great. You get a pretty nice color scheme overall that works for Buzz Lightyear. There are a few things that I would have liked to see, like that spiral for the chin, and maybe even like that space helmet on top, that trans clear part over the purple that you see around the helmet I think would have been nice to see, though I don't know how exactly they would have been able to pull that off. I haven't seen anybody make any mocks of this character quite yet. Maybe I'll try doing it myself, I don't know, I don't think I have the time. Don't know if I'm going to get the other set that goes alongside this one either, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!